Hello, I'm Jameson Pratt. I'm going to be teaching you how to do uh, iMovie on the MacBook Pro. This video is going to, I promise, is going to help you on if you're a beginner on iMovie. And I use uh, this video to kind of have beginner. It's really not that hard. Uh, once I show you, you, I can, you will tell that it's not that hard. And I especially like this app for be uh, beginners like me. I use this at the beginning and it really worked for me. And I've been uh, using my videos on it ever since. Also really this app because I can have different special effects and uh, other stuff on its own and it has its own uh, theme music, titles that you can work off of, and it has its own transitions. And I feel like that's uh, way easier instead of just a website, copying, pasting, copywriting, crediting, all that stuff when you, like, you're trying to put it on YouTube or Facebook. I, f I feel like this is just better, and plus they have great music on it that's not copyright. I'm gonna, s I'm gonna first gonna go to the app. You're probably already at the app. Uh, I'm going to click on Create New, and usually uh, you do usually double click on this, but when you click on it, you gotta click on Movie because trailers a whole bunch of craziness. Um, and you will take your videos and you have your videos and you import the videos that you want from here and you can go to your desktop I usually have on my desktop and look, uh, just import videos and like import all I already have the videos that I want I'm just gonna take one of my videos that I worked on this morning and just, uh, and make something cool of it. I'm gonna take this video and you just click on it and then drag it back up here and and I'm going for this shot since he's running I'm gonna make it to where he slows down and then speeds back up and when you uh, when you have your cursor on the timeline it, on, the t on the top you can just zoom across and it will basically be like uh, you're playing the video except whatever you want. Then uh, I'm gonna start and I'm going in slow. When he's going in slow mo, I where I want him to start slow moing. I'm gonna click on click on that. I'm gonna split the clip. Now I'm gonna go to where I want him to stop. I'm gonna stop right about. Here, then I'm gonna split that clip. In this clip, I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to uh, click on slow. Then it's gonna have to like restart, so you're gonna have to click on 50% and then click it back on 10%, so it can kind of refresh. And now, when you watch your video, you just click on a uh, part in the timeline where you and you click spacebar. This video is messed up. I put that one back to normal. I want the first one to be in uh, the first one to be in normal, the middle one to be in slow, and the end one to be in uh, normal. That was really cool. Now I'm gonna do another shot where he's jumping off of these steps. Now, this I'm gonna make it a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna make it fast when he comes up here, and then I'm gonna, uh, I use, I'm gonna make it fast, and then I'm gonna put it to normal, and then I'm gonna make it slow when he jumps, and I'm gonna put it at normal, and then put it back at fast. First, actually, I'm going. If you're if you need to cut cut it off a little bit, you're gonna just uh, click on it and. Uh, and it will show like these little arrows pointing left and right in between a uh, in between a little line. And you're gonna pull it to the part where you want it to start. I don't want it to start right here. Now, I, uh, 
when I split the clip to where it, I want him to go to normal speed. The clip. Now I'm gonna go to the part where he's jumping. I'm gonna split that clip. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to uh, this part. Here, I'm gonna go uh, to where I want him to start going fast again. I just put the clip here, and now I just have a whole bunch of slow mo because when I shot this, it was in like 120 frames a second. So I'm just gonna have this start one. It's gonna be in normal. Well, actually, no fast speed. I'm gonna have it in fast speed. Then I'm gonna have this one normal. I have this one slow in the middle at 10%. And then I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to put it back at normal. And go to this one, put it back at fast. And normally you want your, your speed to be at four times speed. And uh, it's just. You, year because uh, you can have uh, to where uh, it's I just usually have it on that because it's just easier go if I really put it on that it's the basic and uh, that's your average speed and now I think I'm gonna do one more one more scene I'm gonna make actually I think I'm just gonna start off making this nope, not normal. Now I'm going to go to the part where I want it to start being normal speed. Split. I'm go to the part where he's jumping. Oh, no. Part where he starts jumping. I'm gonna go to the part where he ends his jump. What clip? No. Now when he's going back to normal speed, I'm going to clip, uh, split clip again, and I'm going to have it to where it's going to be, uh, uh, yet again, it's going to start off uh, fast and then it's going to go slow, well no, it's going to start it fast and it's going to go normal, then it's going to go slow, then it's going to go normal, then it's going to go fast again, so it's kind of like a Okay, now I'm going to change the speeds, I'm going to put this up fast. Time speed, normal, slow. Then this is going to be at fast speed. Now. Now it's just super slow motion. Now, what another cool thing about it is that you can have your slow video, and then you can, oh, when you have it at the slow speed, you can put it in, you can uh, copy and paste it and put it in reverse. Then it's going to be like uh, going forward, then going backward. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to do it on this clip. When he's jumping up, I'm going to. C. And C. I'm gonna click on that one. Now I'm gonna click on reverse up here. Now I'm gonna do it uh, back uh, again to where it's normal. Now you're gonna get a cool, super cool result like this.
now I'm going to add some, I think I might add some special effects. I think I want maybe some cool music. Hmm. I think I might want. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this one. <laughs> Since it's a little short, I think I'm gonna put another one in. I'm gonna put one that I know. This one I really like. It's really fun. I really like it. This is like my favorite song. this I'm gonna put it right here and now I'm gonna copy and paste it uh, since it's short and uh, I it's gonna be like another song it's gonna be like another song it's gonna be uh, like all in one song it's gonna sound like it's all in one song Okay, now I think I'm gonna put some a uh, title at the beginning. Uh, now I can just take whatever title I want, and uh, when you have your cursor on it, you can just have it go across uh, it, and it will kind of like do a little preview of it. I think I'm gonna do this one. Actually, now I'm gonna put it up above it so it shows that no one's doing it. Now I'm gonna do slow motion. Good. Now I'm gonna click a uh, check mark. Now I'm gonna put one at the end. Now I think I'm gonna have it out of it. that video and you can click where you want well I'm gonna click at the beginning and now I'm gonna go over to open up and it's gonna zoom out Okay, this is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Um, uh, you can just click on it and, well, let me show you something real quick. Well, you're gonna click back on it and uh, you're gonna call it what you want and do slow motion. Click on this little dot, icon, uh, three dot icon with a circle on it, and click Share Project, and you click File. Maybe. And I'm gonna put it. I think I want it like that. I'm gonna save it to my 
slow motion shots. Now it should show. Oh, there. show it and that's gonna be it I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a fun time making videos of your own uh, I really like this uh, I really like this app because it, it helps me with my videos and it's a little better for me because I kind of just start, started in it but now I'm teaching you how to do it so, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can get notified if, you up if I upload new videos. Thank you so much. Okay. See you next time. I want you for the YouTube.